YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. I'm just at the shop with my gang. Hey guys. Just with the gang here, the gang's here. You know what I mean, the guy, see that? That's a pirate, see the flag behind him? That's a pirate flag. Anyways, uh, I wanna bring up this article that was sent to me once again. Thank you for sending me articles that make sense to read on my, on my channel when it comes to the housing crisis here in Vancouver and all over the world. This one's a really good one. This one is from the Globe and Mail. So I'm not getting this from a third party, fourth party, sixth party source fake news or whatever you want to call it. So here it goes. New Chinese money rules threaten tide of foreign buyers in Canada. So uh, a lot of people commented on this, so you might, I'm gonna leave a link to the article so you guys could read this, okay? Strict new government uh, scrutiny on Chinese people who want to convert their money into other currencies threatens to slow the rush of foreign property buying that has stoked the sky, hockey, sky high home prices in Canada and around the world. The, a lot of the English speaking Anglo countries are seeing this trend. If you go to if you go to Australia, New Zealand, England, Wales, Ireland, the UK, uh, they're all suffering the same trend. For months China has sought to dam the flood of money pouring out of its borders, which has rapidly diminished its stockpile for uh, stockpile of foreign reserves. It has raised new barriers to uh, companies buying abroad and moving money out of the country. Now authorities in China are taking new steps to bar individuals from putting their cash into overseas markets to buy homes and other investments, a change, um, a change with import implications for cities such as Vancouver, Toronto, where Chinese buyers are contributing to the frenzy property trading they forgot a lot of other ones like silicon valley a lot of places in california that are pretty much being hit with this too anything pretty much along the west coast right so let's go to page two here see ty's reading it too eh yeah. ty's reading it too under the new regime the number of buyers will drop sharply and andy xi a chinese economist formerly of the morgan stanley group those selling homes and chinese buyers should brace for their business to shrink dramatically, he warned. The Vancouver uh, region's real estate market has already been cooling off for months after the sales volume and prices peaked last spring. In February, the BC government slapped on a tax the portion of the property sale above $2 million and then implemented a 15% tax on foreign home buyers in Metro Vancouver. In August, happy years. In the seven weeks leading up to the tax implementation in the Vancouver's area, foreign purchasers, including those from China, accounted for 13.2% of the region's total. That's huge. Since then, the influx of foreign buyers has slowed to a relative trickle, according to the BC government. In October, Ottawa tightened mortgage rules in general and, cl and closed tax loopholes used by some of the purchasers who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents. Real estate industry officials said that Wednesday it will take many months for the impact of various government measures in Canada and restrictions in China to play out. There are so many factors in the housing market, said Dan Morrison, president of Real Estate Board Greater Vancouver. Vancouver is not a homogenous market. Some people want to point uh, to point to one easy problem on every solution, and there is there is no such a thing. People in China who can normally only convert fifty thousand U.S. a year into foreign currency have long been technically barred from buying property overseas. But those rules have not been rigor, been rigor, rigorously enforced. Sorry about that. It's a tongue twister. At the offset of 2017, however, China imposed a series of new documentation required on currency transactions and punishment for those using in ways the rules do not allow. Anyways, I'm going to... Ty, what do you think of this, man? I thought it was pretty crazy. Yeah. It's, it's like pretty... Uh, it's pretty other... We knew, we knew this... Everyone knew this. The RCMP knew this was happening like 20 years ago. Yeah. Apparently on there, they've been knowing that it's, it's been gangs and stuff have been coming in. Lots of people have been coming in. Well, they seized six million dollars in the last two years mm -hmm. of money that was brought in from the airport here in Vancouver. Oh, that was caught. Yeah, they caught uh, people with six million in cash, right? Yeah, over like three or four years. So yeah, that's that's huge. Like, and these people aren't claiming their money, so 
these people are able to come in here with hundreds of thousands of dollars and just go, oops. Oops, there it goes, there it goes. yeah. So that's 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 a big. I'm gonna leave a link below for this uh, for this article because uh, uh, it's really long. It's a really long article. It's actually four or five pages long, but it's really good. I want you guys to read this. I want you guys to go over it and see what's going on. This has been going on for ages, but but uh, the percentages are pretty high. Thirteen point two percent of the region's total, and I think they're massaging those numbers too. Eh? Ty, I think it could be eighteen or twenty five. Oh, probably. They're probably massaging those numbers so people don't don't get upset. Uh, but what do you guys think? I mean, a lot of people, a lot of foreign people want to park their money uh, in other countries. 